Hi. It's a bit louder than I anticipated here, but um, regardless, we're here, I may as well shoot it. So today what I really want to talk about is, is why do we have a general stereotype of a man? Man cheat, man rape, man beat woman. A woman in South Africa can't all have the same experience of a man. I'm sure out there there are some good guys who are treating their woman rightfully so. Now that I'm a father, I feel like it's upon me to make sure that when my son grows up, he isn't one of the stereotypes. Strange enough, my name is Izzy Kizondota, which means footsteps of a man in Zulu. They've been thinking a lot about what it means to be a man in South Africa. It's become extremely blurry in terms of what that means. Growing up, I never had the opportunity to have a father figure in life. I mean, there were a couple of men coming into my mom's life, but I'm not sure if I'm comfortable enough sharing that part with you so much right now. Maybe at some point I will be. I've had to discover or understand what it means to be a man without a father figure. Because this, this looks like this is where it blends, but what's this for? You guys opened this thing and you didn't. I opened it the and. Let me see if I kept it. I must have kept it. I always keep them. I thought, Daddy, you don't need manuals. You got this. Of course, I need a manual. But you never read them, so I, I do. I point. read manuals all the time. No, you don't. What? You skim through them. Swallow? Mmm, there we go. Good boy. I don't know what he was wearing because he only wore most of these things like once or twice. So, what were you wearing, Punky? This is a lot of clothes, no? I know, right? So, are you taking the clothes? It's an orphanage. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's called Lighthouse. Um, Abandoned babies. I hope I don't cry when I see all those babies there. I'm just packing these clothes here. They don't fit them anymore. So we have to give them away. Punky, I can't believe you were this tiny. Most of these things, these he hasn't even worn ever in his life. So these are still like brand spanking new. So now we have to give them away. I'm just here to drop off some, some clothes. Taking a young trip to my mom's house just to go visit and watch Formula One. It's about that time, it's the final race of the season. So I'm looking forward to just chilling with the fam and hanging out anyway. Peace, my lady's waiting for me in the car. Yo, broski. How's the Tino, man? Yo, I hope you're well. I'm doing a vlog. 
And in this vlog, I just want to get different men explaining what it means to be a man to them. Essentially, the reason for me doing this is because I'm trying to figure out what being a man means to me. Personally, I grew up without a father and I felt it would be crucial to ask different men what that means to them. Hopefully, this can, you know, help or make people, men, understand out there as well because I think South Africa needs that right now. Do let me know if this is something that would interest you. Um, thanks a lot for listening to my voice now in advance. Cheers. A lot of us grow up without father figures in our home and we just sort of have to figure it out and what it means to us. So, shout out to all the single mothers and fathers out there, making sure that their kids grow up in a manner that allows them to grow up and understand what it means to be a man. It's a very difficult question to answer, even for myself, as I'm still on the journey of figuring it out as footsteps of a man is what my name is so I guess let's let's figure it out together <laughs>